Now let's take a look at the excitement of round number one. It was Courtney Force over on the right side of the screen taking on Mike Austin. Watch what happens to the white machine at 1,000 foot. I talked to every driver and every owner that was back on the starting line after watching Courtney Force do that, and they had nothing but praise for us. Something cuts the tire down, and look at this. All of a sudden, it's a tricycle at the end of the racetrack. Steve Federlin, who owned the car that was in the other lane, told me, boy, she did a great job. Never veered into Mike's lane, never threatened Mike over there, kept it on her side of the racetrack. And for a kid that was the defending champion out here to go out like that, but to handle the car like a pro, she earned her spurs right there on that run. And we actually went back along with the NHRA to try to figure out if there was some something on get the win and Courtney is going to get the wall. Jeff Deal 493 at 208. Courtney's car blew the tires off of it. She pedaled it and pedaled it and pedaled it and ended up smacking the concrete down there. But Jeff Deal, hey, go down the racetrack and see what happens. And the surfer did exactly that. You can see up on the screen, Courtney out of the car, over up against the wall. She did climb out under her own power. Twenty-five points out of first, drop back a little bit in the race at Brainerd. Whoa! Big explosion on Ashley's car. You saw her mom and now her dad's reaction. Just trying to get that thing stopped. She couldn't see with that body blown up, uh, basically blocking her uh, vision completely off the racetrack. I mean, the only thing she would have been able to see was blue sky. So. Oh, there's good news. You see the uh, she's out of the car, and the fire was out pretty quickly. Yep. She, uh, she did the right thing, just tried to get that thing you know, stopped as fast as she could. She was probably in her oil, and that's why the thing was sliding around and bounced off the wall a little bit. But she did get her stop pretty quick, and that's what you want to do. Actually, moving a little slow. I think I would be if I heard that big noise happen. And then, do you actually use, Mike, the wall as a reference point? I mean, if you can skim along it? When you can't see, does that help you? Well, I had an incident in 1983. It was similar where it actually blew the crank out and the body was gone and my my uh, visor was all. I couldn't see where I was going. I moved the car. I wanted to make sure I was away from my competition who I was running at the time. So I kind of drove her over towards the one side. And I actually, I think, just got in her oil and got things slide. She's just trying to get things stopped as fast as she can. And then it just bounced off of the wall. I did use it at one point where I 
I felt it hit the left side wall. I moved it back over, but then the car flipped as I was trying to get it stopped. I thought I actually went off the track, but the engine came off the front and hooked the left front and rolled the car, car a couple times. Ashley's a little bit different. Like I said, it blows up. Similar because at this point, see the rear tire is completely off of the ground. That's a big time explosion, big concussion right there. So she's going to be stunned for just an instant. Luckily, the, the, all the systems work and deployed the parachute, shut the engine off. Problem is, she can't. 25 points out of first, drop back a little bit in the race at Brainerd. Whoa, big explosion on Ashley's car. You saw her mom and now her dad's reaction. Just trying to get that thing stopped. She couldn't see with that body blown up, uh, basically blocking her uh, vision completely off the racetrack. I mean, the only thing she would have been able to see was blue sky. So. Oh, there's good news. You see the, uh, she's out of the car and the fire was out pretty quickly. Yep. She, uh, she did the right thing, just tried to get that thing you know, stopped as fast as she could. She was probably in her oil, that's why the thing was sliding around and bounced off the wall a little bit, but she did get her stopped pretty quick and that's what you wanna do. Actually, moving a little slow. I think I would be if I heard that big noise happen. And then, do you actually use, Mike, the wall as a reference point? I mean, if you can skim along it when you can't see, does that help you? Well, I had an incident in 1983. It was similar where it actually blew the crank out and the body was gone and my my uh, visor was all. I couldn't see where I was going. I moved the car. I wanted to make sure I was away from my competition who I was running at the time. So I kind of drove her over towards the one side. And I actually, I think, just got in her oil and got things slide. She's just trying to get things stopped as fast as she can. And then it just bounced off of the wall. I did use it at one point where I, I felt it hit the left side wall. I moved it back over, but then the car flipped as I was trying to get it stopped. I thought I actually she went off the track, but the engine came off the front and hooked the left front and rolled the car, car a couple times. Ashley's a little bit different. Like I said, it blows up. Similar because at this point, see the rear tire is completely off of the ground. That's a big time explosion, big concussion right there. So she's going to be stunned for just an instant. Luckily, the, the, all the systems work and deployed the parachute, shut the engine off. Problem is, she can't. I'm not keeping it towards the inside of the groove. Don't let it drift towards the outside. Well, and Ashley tries to stay with it until it finally gets totally oh. sideways, and then she catches the wall. And the motor's still running, and finally it stops. The body all askew. Don Medlin, Guido Antonelli, they're running down the track to get to her aid as Ashley climbs out of the car to the cheers of the crowd. Boy, a little stunning that one. You thought it was all covered. Yeah, that was uh, that was big. I'm sure she's she's upset. Situation where she's been doing a good job of keeping the car in the groove when the car's hooked up, but she hasn't had a lot of experience when the car gets loose and starts spinning the tires. And look at Larry Dixon right in there to help her. You know, and a lot of the drivers, I'm sure you've done it, Mike Dunn, realize they're the guys with fire suits on. If somebody needs some help, maybe they can get in there too. <laughs> Yeah, that was a scary moment there. Both cars spin, spin the tires. Kenny was able to get his to recover, but Ashley was uh, obviously had some trouble getting it to recover and got it into the wall. Well, it looks like she had it under control, and then all of a sudden it was into the wall, flash of fire, flip of the top. Now John's there with her. So as she pulls the helmet off, here's what happened. Both cars spun the tires pretty point, but you see Kenny got his to recover. Ashley just rotated that thing way around when it was spinning the tires. And uh, you know, hit the wall pretty hard, flips the body off, and it looks like the body actually kept the rear wheels off of the ground and uh, just allowed it to spin around right there. But uh, that was a scary. 15th right now. As we show you the funny car point standings, John sitting number one and the Dewar Dunn line. Mike, is it going to stay there? Well, it, uh, it definitely could, but for Bob Taska and Robert Hyde, I mean, they have to do what Tony Schumacher did in Dallas, basically win the race and hope that people in, ahead of them you know, stumble a little bit and they can get possibly get above that line. Yeah, but look how close that fight is down through fourth. John Force, number one in the points. His lead expanded from fourth 
going into Dallas to 25 here last year. Assey Force hood on the right side of your screen. This was a huge explosion. Lifted the rear wheels off the ground, buckled the body, and uh, she got. They had to bring out another car. And actually was disqualified in the first round when the other car they brought out was, was underweight after beating Jeff Aran. Ashley's been dropping to the points. Now fourth was three rounds out of first. John Forrest goes number one with that run. <laughs> Ashley Forrest Hood has more than a big problem there. Well, body sitting in the middle of the track. She's okay. Well, John Forrest at both ends of the track record, 405, 311 miles per hour, and nobody was even paying attention because Ashley Forrest Hood blew that body completely off of that race car. A little apprehension from Ashley's mom. Bernstein and John Forrest. John Forrest over there on the right side, Mike Dunn. You're going to see Kenny Bernstein going to cross over the center line, send some parts and pieces over there, but what happens was a tire went down on John Forrest's car, it appears, and when he pulled the parachutes, it just ripped the back half of that chassis off. He is over on the right side of the wall. You see the remainder of the car, the front half of it, sliding down the guard wall on the right-hand lane but before it comes to a stop in the sand trap. At it. You're going to see Kitty's got is ahead at this point, but it drifts over hits the box. And what happens when the chutes come out right there, you're going to see the chassis where John is actually is off to the left. The other part of the chassis slides over into Kenny's lane. You see John right there as it came to a hard stop against the wall. Very frightening incident at uh, that point. And uh, we'll look at it one more time as Kenny Bernstein drifts toward the center line, catches the blocks, and then all of a sudden it begins to disintegrate. Right there, that's John right there. He just pulls the back of that chassis right off. The front part of the chassis goes into Kenny, drives both of them into the wall, and then the bodies are shedded at that point. Kenny see with both shoots out, he's getting that thing back under control safely. The rest of John's car sliding, like we said, against the wall, and then the part...